tonight, everyone, we are getting a look at dash cam and body cam footage soon after a car wreck involving a police officer. This wreck happening in Maryville on March 16th around 10 a.m. According to the accident report, a Maryville police officer was approaching Irwin Avenue and North Everett High Road. The report detailing that the officer came to a rolling stop ultimately hitting a car coming towards that intersection. WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Holmes speaking with the Maryville Police Department. She joins us now live here in the studio. So Laura, you have taken a look at the footage. What can you tell us about this wreck? Mm -hmm. Well, guys, what's playing behind me? That's dash cam video from responding officers. Now, I spoke with Maryville Police Chief Tony Crisp, who says there's no video of the actual collision. Now, I'm about what you're about to see what you're seeing right now is body cam video. Chief Crisp telling me officer Austin Green was running a plate number for a possible stolen vehicle on his mobile data terminal. The accident report says officer Green wasn't able to stop in time and the other car tried avoiding the wreck. The report outlines that officer Green was taken to the hospital because he hit his head on the window and he hurt his wrist. Now, when it comes to the other driver, the report says that person went to the hospital on their own with some shoulder and arm pain. Chief Crisp telling me he's thankful no one was seriously injured. And now when there's a collision involving an officer, it's protocol to call in an outside agency to investigate. And in this case, it's the Blount County Sheriff's Office. Now, Chief Crisp saying Officer Green was given three days suspension without pay. He's been with the department for four years, and prior to this, I'm told Officer Green has had zero collisions. Ladies. All right, thank you so much, Laura. We did also ask the Maryville Police Department about officer training when it comes to driving patrol units. They tell us during basic police academy driving is part of the curriculum. Yeah, and on top of that, MPD says that eight hours is dedicated to driving during their annual in-service training. That is where officers go over driving in adverse conditions. They go over safety, a defensive driving course, as well as operating patrol units in a safe manner.